Hello everyone, Olga with you. Today let's talk again about real estate situation in Ukraine. You know, I believe it's really interesting to study the behavior of the customers and sellers in the real war situation because it's totally unexpected as we had an ideas in our head. Majority of people were expecting that the prices in Ukraine will drop so much and if there are some investors who were targeting to invest in real estate or what apartment, it was looking like it could be never better chance. Yes, there is always risks of uh, that their property will be destroyed, but someone ready to pay for this risk to buy property away, away cheaper. In crisis of 2008, Prices in Ukraine and especially in capital dropped something like 50%. In 2013, after Ukraine had revolution, again, the prices for real estate dropped so much and it was very visible. And for sure in 2022, when such huge full-scale war started, it was very expected that the prices would totally smash the ground. People will be selling their properties just to get anything for it. But surprisingly, it didn't happen and the prices dropped for 10, 15%. It so much depends from the property. So for example, if it was something very expensive and very luxury, the prices go down for 30%. So if you are talking about properties over $400,000 and so on, so those people are ready to give bigger discount just to sell. And if you're talking about one bedroom apartments, uh, uh, studios or something very, very for average people, this didn't really change so much in price and the prices maybe drop for 10%, but still it remained expensive. And today we're exactly going to look for the war zone. Again, I'm not making this video to attract investors and to um, tell you that, yes, this is your best chance to buy. No, at all. But it's just interesting from the point of the market behavior. So if you're interested, stay with me and let's see what's happening there. Okay, so let us look at the war zone, what I mean under war zone. So this is a map, uh, deep state, uh, which is somehow showing the current situation in um, our front lines. And so those areas controlled by Russians, those areas are controlled by Ukraine. And today I propose to look for Donetsk region, because this is the one, the most targeted by Russia. Even they're the one who uh, declared that they need to take over the whole region and in this region even you hear a lot uh, fight about Bakhmut but Bakhmut doesn't really have big strategic meaning it's more political meaning but uh, from the strate strategic point of view there are only two cities Kramatorsk and Slovyansk those cities are big they are about 200,000 citizens residents so they are big uh, industrial cities with a lot of things somehow and those two are the one which is the biggest target all other of this uh, kind of uh, places this is something small so it doesn't really have a lot of people and a lot of things yeah so today i will exactly target to look for the prices in Kramatorsk and Slovyansk because this is potential the biggest potential target of Russian army it's the most popular website for the advertisement somehow for all kind of advertisement including real estate and here we can find that yes there are still people who is for sure try to sell apartments a three-room apartment for $78,000 even I'm sure this apartment looks very stunning and very great you can see the pictures what exactly they are selling with seventy eight thousand dollars but i believe this is the price before any kind of invasion because this is not really cheap even for such type of the city so i uh, for sure there is always people who propose and if you want to buy you can buy if you're ready to pay this money but this is not somehow the real situation i already had a look on real situation so now you will see the truth is that most of apartments, you can see two-room apartment, you can buy with $8,000, three-room uh, with $15,000, $28,000. But yeah, let us look at this 28 one. I believe it is also super modern uh, with a nice... Oh, yeah, I saw it. I will show it to you. It's a very modern one. And besides all these things, what they have, they also 
got a big terrace. Yeah, this is the one. So it's besides apartment, you're getting also such terrace, which is 70 square meters. And it looks just beautiful, really. The apartment with such terrace, and this is the city, the view to the city. How does it look? And you can see the interior in general, the one that I was showing you. I see it has dedicated wardrobe room also. It's really great. It's really great. And for sure, even if you will buy it and you will try to sell all in pieces as much as it possible, I'm sure you will get uh, 28,000 back because it's not the price in reality. So they are really selling it for cheap. Um, other apartments is 9,000, 10,000 for one room, three room apartment commonly $15,000. And yeah, once I'm looking at this, I feel somehow um, upset because people were, you can, you can find that the, the type of apartment, the renovation, uh, furniture and all the work which people did in this apartments for sure worth uh, much more than the money that they want to sell. But again, as I said, because those uh, potential Russian targets, which they are not hiding even that this is our target. So if they will try to capture anything, they will exactly try to capture these cities in Ukraine. That's why you can find, see another one for 15,000. That's why you can find that the prices for sure went down. And the one who is ready to sell, he is, I guess, ready to sell for cheap. For any price, see this, this looks like totally brand new, um, at least renovated apartment or maybe that's at all in brand new building. So it makes me feel sad, of course. Another thing which I would like to show you, this is apartment rent in these areas. And you know, apartment rent surprised me in different way that the prices is not really cheap in these uh, places. Uh, so people still, you know, if somebody who is selling an apartment, they're really ready to sell it for, I believe, much cheaper than it used to be before war. Um, now I see that apartment rents are really costing something like, I believe they used to cost this much uh, even before war because 9,000 grivnas, this is Ukrainian currency, I'm not uh, sure, let me just check if I can yeah translate it but in grievance it's more easy for me to understand the prices I will tell you this for sure was prices before war because I cannot believe yeah if anybody a foreigner I can imagine while I'm now living in uh, uh, UK you will find these prices for and what is this what is this this is nothing you know <laughs> this is Totally nothing, but you need to compare it to minimal salary in Ukraine. You need to understand that this is not a big regional city. It's just city in some region. It's just... Um, so this this used to be a normal prices somehow for apartments. And the minimal salary is about $150. So you need to understand that those apartment prices are almost the price of minimal salary. And if somebody would like to rent it, he need to earn at least twice more for example 247 dollars this is more than minimal salary people are charging for apartments so i believe that the price as i said before war was not much cheaper because it it cannot be much more expensive uh, in reality i compare even to kiev and so on give you for but still 124 for one it's kind of studio, I believe. It's not even one bedroom apartment. So here is the situation. Another interesting thing which I would like to say that there is a city called Donetsk and this city is located, let me show you, uh, it's over there, this one. Uh, this is a city which used to have more than one million population. It was one of the core cities in Ukraine until Russia occupied uh, somehow, but it happened in 2014. And it was a very expensive city, somehow like Kiev, or I believe maybe their apartment rent was more big. And nowadays, if we will search for apartment rents in, in this um, 
um, in the cities we still can find like here for example it is in Donetsk and we can notice how much cheap 137 dollars uh, for example now there is no it's not a war zone so they occupy there is nothing they are somehow protected so they are just under Russian occupation but still you can notice how much cheaper 82 you know so the price in the core city it's the core regional city with 1 million population under Russian occupation is actually the same like in just some city in the region five times smaller like this one for example under Ukrainian control under threat to be destroyed even and because I don't think this these guys count that they they can have destroyed houses in the nearby future but this one has very big chances to be destroyed occupied and the prices under Ukrainian territory are still higher than prices in Donetsk which is occupied since long time thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was interesting for you and don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like it and you want to see more of my videos in your news field love you guys all bye bye